Hello everyone, this is Jane Brown here and welcome back to the next episode of Multiverse Wars. Yeah, sorry it's been a while, I've just been focusing on other stuff like, once again, school and other videos like that Sonati Boy meme I made that was the first meme on the channel really. But now, I'm gonna be focusing on this next episode. And on this next episode, this is gonna be a battle between the two ball-shaped light characters, Red from Angry Birds and Kirby from the Kirby franchise made by Nintendo. So these two are going to be fighting it out. We're going to be seeing who would win in this matchup. So once again, let's go. Red and the Angry Bird is the main protagonist of the Angry Birds series. He has been the main character since its exemption. But there's much more to him than just being angry. So for now, now it's time we talk about his powers and abilities. Now that we know his origin and story. In the episode Slingshot 101 from Angry Birds Tunes, Red is seen capable of surviving an impact from a rock after being slingshotted into the air by the slingshot. He also has a slight ability of tooth force as he is able to recover by being flattened after this blow. In the same episode, it is shown that Red is capable of coming from all the way up to the mountain and racing back down to the area where the blues were and the eggs and the pigs where the eggs were being stolen at a very least a couple of seconds to be honest which is probably makes red at least the very least supersonic when it comes to speed overall and here's another speed feat in the episode off duty red is seen is capable at near the end of the episode he has showed speeding to pig city destroyed all of it then sped back with the eggs to the nest, and once again a few seconds, which makes him also still supersonic. Red also has the strength to break through wood and ice, as showcased in multiple of the classic Angry Birds games. He is shown breaking through these things and easily popping the pigs, essentially killing them. Which, yeah, he is extremely skilled at doing that. He's also a pretty skilled fighter, as he fought multiple of different pigs many times throughout this series and franchise. As seen in Angry Birds Go, Red is also a really skilled kart racer, as he is shown racing throughout multiple different levels and tracks throughout the Angry Birds Go game, released in 2013. And in Angry Birds Transformers, there's a story where the egg where pretty much the cube thing gets sent to the Angry Birds universe and then Ren and the rest of the Angry Birds cast turn into Transformers, Autobots, and the Decepticons. Yep, Red has the ability to turn into a Transformer and he has all the abilities of Optimus Prime, which means that Red has the ability to turn to other characters. And as shown in Angry Birds Star Wars, Red also has the power to turn to Luke Skywalker, and now he also has his power-ups. He's always had these, so we're discussing them right now. The power potion, which allows the bird to grow in size. The bird quake, which allows the entire world to shake around him, once again also made to scare pigs off. The sling scope, which allows Red to target the enemies and take them down very easily. And finally, we have the boombox, which allows Red to pretty much just throw crates of TNT wherever he wants to. But as for his weaknesses, well, Red isn't strong enough to break through stone since he is smaller. Now I know size doesn't always exactly matter, but in this case it kind of does, because in order for you to break stone, you have to be pretty massive and pretty strong, but Red just doesn't have the durability to survive that. Now, his Toon Force can be pretty consistent. Sometimes he can pretty much break through stone and mountains and start being flattened, but sometimes he can't. So, yeah. Also, he's obviously not the strongest character in this universe. There are plenty of characters way stronger than him. But also, his anger can drive him to pretty irrational action as well. Like, pretty much not trying to follow the rules or something, or just, yeah... Maybe he could do it by accident. But overall, Red is still quite the strong bird. He has the power-ups, the Transformers abilities, and the ability to turn to other characters. And also has speed as well. But now it's time we talk about Kirby. 
Kirby is the main protagonist of the Kirby series made by Nintendo. He has been in multiple games and is obviously a very popular character in Smash Bros. And now, without further ado, he's pretty iconic, so we'll talk about his powers and abilities very quickly here. As for his powers and abilities, he has the ability to breathe underwater, has fourth wall awareness, has elasticity, which means that he can stretch his body to enlarge it for a bit, and that can quickly recover after being crushed flat just like Red can. He can also turn into a limbless ball to decrease his size by contracting his body. He also has Tune Force abilities and regeneration abilities. He can also throw half of his body and have a reach upon it and explode and immediately recover as a cutter and super boomerang. And also has the ability to eat up his foes and then steal their powers. And as for his powers and more powers, as for his speed, he is easily massively faster than light, as he kept up with Mega Knight, Nightmare, Dark Mind, Dark Namella, Jamba, Heart Pieces, and who are several times faster than light themselves. It also Kirby is capable of flawlessly piloting and controlling while reacting, dodging missiles and, and projectiles and obstacles. Not projectiles, missiles, I don't know if I say that. But anyways, he is also fast enough that he quickly went from novice summoning point at Galaxy's End at Popstar at the scattered across the universe. So yeah, basically he is extremely fast. And as for durability, it's mostly solar system or low multiverse level, it can vary depending on the situation. But as for them, he is greater with the copy abilities where characters are much more durable than him. Also, his regeneration makes him really difficult to kill as well. He can also take hits from the Crown's own version of Super Kirby's abilities. He also has pretty much the regeneration factor again, his elasticity makes it pretty hard, so yeah. But as for his weaknesses, he can be destroyed eventually. He's not completely invincible. And plus, he is still pretty young, as shown in the games depicted and the rest of the media anyways. So, yeah. He can also be pretty naive at times. So, at first, he may be pretty childish when it comes to battle, but eventually he does get the hang of it, as shown in his multiple different games, of him actually taking fights seriously, and eventually him winning at the end. Overall... Yeah, I would say this is a, obviously a complete stomp for Kirby's favor. Red's best speed feats only rank around supersonic level, while Kirby's speed feats easily rank around massively faster than light or massively FTL+. Plus. But yeah, for Kirby also has way more impressive powers and abilities. While Red may have his impressive power up, sure, but overall, in base stats and current form, Kirby is far superior to Red. And yeah, the winner of this battle is Kirby. See you later.